Okay. So we're back. Welcome to Comic Book Talk. I'm Cameron. I'm Greg. And let's get back at it. Okay, so everybody decided because they saw Spider-Man on PlayStation 5. Yes. But with that Spider-Man, like all that tells me is like, so they're not, so you're saying that they're not doing where Miles Morales dies. No. I mean, not Miles Morales. Peter Parker. Does. Okay. The whole story is this Iron Man PS5 is actually a remade PS4 uh, Spider-Man with an extra added bonus uh, missions, basically a whole storyline with Miles Morales. Well, to explain what happens to Peter Parker, and my theory is, at, shortly after the game, there was an event called Spider Get, where a lot of Spider-Man from different universes teamed up for against uh, these vampires that were sucking the lives out of Spider Totems, Spider-Man. And in one of the universes, they actually went to the game universe and got that Peter Parker Spider-Man. And when he left, he left Miles Morales in charge of, of protecting the city while it was gone. So that's where I believe this is all going, where Peter Parker went and explains his absence. Now, and the, the confusing part for me with that is like, they often do this. They often do the whole where the multiple universes mm -hmm. and like we saw it when they did, um, when they did the Affinity War. Yeah. Even made reference to like Captain Marvel, the movie Captain Marvel, you know, having a, a Affinity Stone in it, or uh, and she looked at her, you know, herself and was like, "Who's that?" And then it was like, so they did that little tribute in the comic books to like the movie version of the Captain Marvel. But like, how does that play on an ongoing kind of comic book? story well, like on spider-man like we have now we're saying that we have another verse out there where this you know comes to play so one in marvel like in dc is it's kind of like a, you know they have like earth one earth two mm -hmm. How, what's the concept in marvel okay the concept of marvel the only people that are traveling across the universe is there's two teams uh one of them is defunct right now is called the exiles they traveled across the universes uh dark dimensions where we go uh but right now they've for a long ever since Spartageddon, um uh, they've had a team to track and you know go across the spider verses and and first because there was a villain spider-man that was played by a hosborn and he was trying to create uh, great chaos and everything so for a while i i haven't read it in a while but i think it's still going on uh, Miles Morales actually heads it up. Um, he's in charge of a team that consists of like Kane, uh, 2099, uh, Spider Gwen, uh, a couple others. And they, when they're whenever they're called, uh, there's one person in the middle of it that's that controls the web of life for Spider Man. And whenever there's trouble, they like a certain team of these get called. And they're the only ones going through the multiverse right now. Let me ask you also. To you, doesn't it seem like Marvel, when it comes to like the second generation, they like create different characters and it's like, oh, that doesn't stick. Oh, that doesn't stick. Okay, this person stick. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. Like we had Spider Woman, we had Spider Gwen, we had there's so many different spiders in just one Earth, one universe. And it's like, okay, don't get me wrong, I love Mount Morales, yeah. but it's like, how do we get there? And then it's it's kind of funny that why doesn't Marvel do the same thing with some of its other second generation characters? Like, um, don't get me wrong, I really have no love for him, but Amadeus Cho for the Hulk or whatever. Or you have, um, you know, the, the next Iron Man, you have, um, um, you know, several people took over the mantle for Captain America or whatever. Yeah. Um, pretty much, we, we know uh, Falcon took over um, yeah. it recently in the comic books or whatever for Captain America. So as soon as they slowly start building up, you know, the, the second generation for other characters? Yeah, but the problem is that it's, 
character depth and creation they have. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work going into that direction and they don't want to, they don't want to lose their audience. That's true. So they have to figure a way to either develop this guy or send him back to what made him popular, what everybody liked and everything. And uh, so they don't take eye off of the, uh, say if they bring back Steve, they did bring back Steve Rogers. Um, for a while, they had both Falcon and Captain and Steve Rogers and Captain America, but that got confusing. And also, like if you look at these characters as real people, their identity is be it'll be confusing for their identity. They're like the uh, people see them as Captain America, the same person, but they won't be their own unique person. So that's where I think about it. That's where uh, and the whole m m many. Uh, Actually, uh, Miles Morales took the name Arachno Kid for a while. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that. But um, yeah, there's also like a different Reed Richards too in there in there right now. Uh, he's actually the one from Molten Universe. He's the bad one. He's actually going to, I think he started battling the X-Men. Interesting. Who would you like to see as like a second generation hero? Oh, from uh, like the alternate universes and everything? And that or like, you know, like Batman in DC, we have Nightwing. Yeah. You know, who would you like to see as far as Marvel? You know, to me that you have Spider Man as is Miles Morales. There was a female Bucky. Uh a Bucky. Yeah, she was uh whenever remember the Heroes in a Crisis with the uh, Onslaught mm -hmm. and that whole earth that was created just by mine, uh so the heroes could uh recover. There was a female Bucky in there. And uh I forgot her name though, but uh, I read a cut. She was actually brought back to the real earth and she's had a couple of stories and she, I actually got interested in her. Sure, she you was always like, be hitting me up with like the, the weird choices. Like, yeah. I, I, I never hear anybody say that. Okay. Now, now I'm going to have to read up. Yeah, she, uh, she had a, a story of uh, these little heroes and uh, a few years ago and I, it got canceled after about 12 issues, but I, I got into it. I don't know. Yeah, it should. So what's happening in DC right now? DC right now, they're going through their fifth generation kind of. Uh, I mean, we know we know about Rebirth. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, it's a whole different Rebirth now. It's called the fifth generation. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, they're, it's their last ditch effort. If this doesn't make it, DC Comics probably will go bankrupt what was wrong with dc rebirth well they wanted they want actually they actually wanted to concentrate on the younger heroes i thought they were doing that yeah that's the, what's called fifth generation um uh they actually brought back connor kent uh superboy i mean i know who you're talking about but my other thing is like fix wally Oh, they did fix Wally. Did you not read the flash forward? I got halfway. Okay. What happened was, um, was he he fixed the rift between the dark multiverse and our universe because it was also because whenever he's brought back time, uh, his mind kind of helped carry that dark universe. So you're saying that now the the, the rift is fixed. So there's quota. So yeah, no, because nobody uh Baratos and uh, nobody else can come back from the dark universe. Uh not that I know of, but because uh Wally West was uh he saved his children. Um Linda actually remembered who they were and everything, but he had to sit in the Mobius chair to to solve that uh rift. And when he did, he turned blue, and Mr. Manhattan, Dr. Manhattan's symbol went on his forehead. But he did not go crazy. Uh, he knows there's something coming, and so they're going to do a nerd like crossover. And he's going to. There's two people with Dr. Manhattan's powers: a young boy named Clark, that was actually I think Marinette and and the Mime's son. And he's got the symbol on it, but it was given to, I believe, uh, he, he was going to be raised by Superman. Sounds Yeah, uh, I got to I got to finish the last issue of Doomsday Clock. I forgot who it was given to, and he was bestowed powers by Dark Manhattan. Dark Manhattan's dead. 
is dead, dead. Which is surprising no. for me because they made a big deal over this crossover yeah. and them bringing the Waspin into DC. And then mm -hmm. there's the, two different universes. I thought they merged them. No, uh, they're, uh, Dr. Manhattan went back to this real world. Uh, he stopped his character from becoming Dr. Manhattan. So now there is no Dr. Manhattan. No Dr. Manhattan in his world, no. And his, uh, oh no. The kid was not given to Clark Kent. He was given to Night Owl and the Spectre. Interesting. So he, those two are raising him. That's kind of weird. Yeah, Night Owl too. They actually got together, and and so he. Uh, two people that I don't think should be raising a kid. <laughs> oh, if a bully, if somebody comes and tries to kidnap the kid. They're going to kick his ass. I mean, duh, yeah, but it's slow motion. <laughs> that, that, that kid's going to have questionable um, power, well, morals, and judgment. It's like uh, Superman and Wonder Woman's kid that was raised by Superman, Wonder Woman, and and Batman and Kingdom and the Kingdom. The most badass like superhero. I don't have to use my powers to beat the shit out of you. I could, I could do this in slow motion. So. <laughs> Now my question is, so you said Wally West is back. Yes. But now when I left off, I'm not, I hope I'm not scoring. You should definitely oh yeah, spoiler read, alert. <laughs> you should definitely read it, all of DC Rebirth, especially um, Flash um, and um, Teen Titan, uh, not Teen Titan, Titans goes into more of Wally. But doing yes. the Judas concert track, they, uh, that's when they also got canceled hit. Titans. <sighs> this is giving me sad news. Bro. This is giving me sad news. Uh, so then he got the, the pacemaker yes. in his heart. That was caused by, by Damien. Damien. <laughs> but and, <laughs> but we know that like he after he got the pacemaker, he was able to stop time. Did, did he keep that power after Flash Wars or no? Well, he has Dr. Manhattan's power. And uh, so wait, wait. So he's like, he's not even Wally anymore. He no, he his mind did not lose himself. But you cannot have Doctor Manhattan like he's OP now. Yeah, but he's not going to use the, those powers unless he has to. He unlike unlike Doctor Manhattan who became self and basically lost himself. Wally with this way his brain that speed and everything can't doesn't lose himself. Does he even still have the speed force? Yeah, he could kill, uh, he, but he doesn't need it. Did this, so Wally is like the most powerful right now. Yes, yes. Uh, but there's a reason he is sitting in the mo the movie chair right now. But he's the only one that cannot sit, that can sit on there and not get killed. So he has to keep sitting on there or the roof open? No. He just, uh, there has to be somebody sitting on there. Uh, he's like a god now. Well, why does there have to be somebody sitting on a Morpheus chair? Because it embeds you with all the knowledge of the universe. Wait, for people that don't know, uh, what is the Morpheus chair? The Morpheus chair is a new god technology seat. Uh, it, there was a point where Batman sat in it, and he actually found out who the Joker's real name is. Apparently, there's three Jokers. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, no, I need to ask you about that too. We're about okay. to get back to Next that. Next up, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. And it abodes you with all the knowledge of the universe. And so right now, Wally West knows everything in the universe. He knows what's coming. So what, my question is, why not just destroy it? I don't think he can. That's a good question. I don't think he can. Because, because the, when he, uh, Dr. Manhattan also imbued the chair with his power. It's kind of a weird concept. I mean, it just seems like something that shouldn't exist. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of people said that. Yeah. That's. It kind of makes no sense now. It's it's kind of like, it's kind of like DC wanted to create another creature like um, like Marvel has, Death and Galactus and the Watcher and all of these godly powers that are not supposed to intervene and stuff. It must be balanced. Well, the new gods are a race of people, so it's basic technology. It's a technology that was kind of like you know, like Asgard is technology that 
we seen as magic because science that we haven't. It's basically that. I get you, but that's kind of dangerous when you think about the story of DC. So now you're saying that these, you know, and if you don't know what new gods are, they're not, they're not guys. They're just you advanced know, people. They're dark sides people. Yeah. Um, with advanced technology. Yeah. So now you have a race of people that created a chair that has all, all the knowledge in the universe. Yeah. So what's stopping them from, or somebody else from making another chair like that? Uh, nobody can. I don't think anybody else can. I think the, when that was created, who, uh, when, I think he tried to sit on it and died. So nobody else knows how to make a chair. So, so, you, so pretty much Dr. Manhattan was responsible for the chair. For, uh, well, it, it being a little bit more powerful, but because when he, due to the, with his power, uh, when Wally West sat on it, he got that power. But what caused the chair to get all the knowledge in the universe? It was made that way. It was some best that I see. That's that's what I'm saying. Like that makes that part to me makes no sense. Because I never like, looked at all that, but that's why I did look at. That's why I read and and so there's really no explanation of how it has all the knowledge. Okay, so it's like a living. It's like a it's like a mother box. Yeah, and then okay, but did we? If we go back to the Flash Wars, did we ever answer who was faster, Wally or Barry? No, oh, well, he's the he's the only one that could actually absorb time and stuff, and he is. But they always said that Barry had the deepest connection to the Speed Force, and it's like Barry kind of beat everybody else. Okay, um, I would say Wally is the fastest. He's been through, like, he was in the Flash Force those five years when everybody, they had a time job and everything. Yeah. The reason he came back is he was in the Flash Force. He got stuck in there. Uh, but I'm going to say it, Wally West is downright fast. So, but we know that Barry has got lost in the, you know, Speed Force many times before, yeah. too. So what's stopping Barry from being as fast as Wally. I don't know, but Wally's uh, powers are a little different. Uh, he could he could he could do stuff that Barry can't. He's been able to actually control time. And uh, there was one incident when he came back from the future and uh, he found out Bart had gotten killed by iner inertia. This is before the final crisis. He found inertia slowed him to a point where he was still and but he was barely moving like an inch of fear and basically took all the motion out of him sucked all the motion and all the speed and made him like a statue in the flash museum looking at bart the whole time that's kind of scary and it is but uh because he saw bart like a brother and that uh, when he found that uh, he he was mad and everybody, like the whole flash film, was like, that's what you did? All right, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> but it's to me, you ain't gonna like this reference, but to me, Barry should be like Kyle Reiner of, of like the Speed Force because he has mastered. I mean, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not going to say master, but he's has a so deeper connection that he's been in both the negative speed force yeah. and a positive speed force and been able to, like, but even when, even when he, we know Barry dies, the speed force itself uses yeah. his essence as a, you know, to capture other speedsters. Yeah. Um, they did that, but uh, during the Flash War, uh, Barry could, was able, was barely able to keep up with Wally. I guess I gotta say that Wally's OP. So is. Wally is officially faster than yeah, I, in my opinion. Uh, like he's been my favorite Flash for a while. Like him, and, he uh, he was my favorite Flash. You know where Mustang? Young Justice. Where's Where's Wally? I uh, never explained that. 
they are, I believe, they put them into the future. And because did you watch the other season? Yeah, because he's not okay. They, okay, so that was not that was an illusion. Yes, and and but at the end of the day, she was like, you know, he's not here, so he must be alive. Or yeah, whatever. because if he died, uh, the fri- his costume would have survived. His costume is frictionless, so it would not de- de- deteriorate like he did, like the body did. So he disappeared. He must have went into the future, and that's where I think he went because he's probably training. He's probably with the with the 301st, uh, uh, the what's it called? The freaking future legion. Probably. By the way, if you haven't watched Young Justice, please watch yes. Young Justice. It is straight fire. I have not been disappointed on a single season, and I do not want to spoil anything for you. There is mad plots, with uh, they're making, they're bringing back up like uh, Salvage and making him like a. You didn't think he was a good villain before. Now you know he's a good villain. They really, they really worked uh, Beast Boy as actually a serious character and so just a Oh, Beast Boy goes on to another level in Young Justice. Yeah. Then they got um, the relationship between Doctor Fate and um, and Zendaya. Well, we already knew that, but um, they said that Doctor Fate was one of. Uh, or the, the entity, the entity. The helmet? Yeah, it was a son. The helmet of Zabu? Yeah, they were saying that he, his, um, him himself was a son of Savage. I have to rewatch it, I know. Because uh, Savage was a caveman. And, uh... Do it, because, um, when it was doing, it was doing towards the end of season three, they started talking about how, like, you know, going into his master plot, how he's pretty much been setting things up for years. Oh, yeah. And Savage they had a war, however, and you had Numaru going against him, I believe. Yeah. And then you had uh, his daughter, another one of his daughters, um, helping him as well. That's cool. You got to watch it. Yeah, watch I, have to it. I have to rewatch the season. It's been a while, and I probably, there's probably an episode I was watching when I was late at night and fell asleep. Okay. Uh, I do want to talk about one thing. What's up? Stargirl. I like it. I, I'm i really enjoying it. Like, uh, uh, Matt, uh, uh, Luca, Luca uh, Wilson. Great character. I mean, me personally, I'm, I'm wait, I've been waiting for somebody like you to say something because to me, of all of the characters that you could have picked, that hey, you want your ending era, but you need that character to keep things going. You need more female characters. Why not Zatanna? Zatanna has mad story on her own. Zatanna is is a also well known. They wanted they wanted to bring in the Justice Society, and they wanted to introduce Alan Scott and uh, Jay Garrick and all that, all that team. But they kind of already did that. Yeah, but Zatanna's on Earth One. This is a different Earth. Just give me, just give me, just give me just you know. Well, they don't have rights then, to all the characters. And then like, and let, let's talk about it. I don't get wrong. I will always be a fan of Arrow. Yeah. I will lay respect that you could not have Flash without Arrow. Yes. I think he played Arrow good. Oh yeah. But my only thing is, to me, I got takeaway points because they never got to the true Green Arrow. Yeah. The true Green Arrow is, you know, for the people, saving the environment. He's, you know, he's the person that tells Batman, be like, you went too far, Batman. You know? Oh, yeah. Only side that we got to see of Green Arrow was him still recovering from his dark history, which don't get wrong, they added to that history. Yes. And made up a, a, a good a good portion of it, the, which I don't even know why they have to do that when, as Green Arrow goes to becoming more Green Arrow, he says no to all of that. Yeah. And he gets his own path, you say, yeah. per se. But, uh, yeah, as we're talking about that, like Stargirl, like, um, the, they went dark real quick. Um, I don't know if you've been watching it, have you? I haven't been watching it. Okay. Sell me, sir. Sell me. Okay. 
Why should people episode, watch Star Wars? Episode Star-Girl. three. Okay. okay, it was called Ice City. Because uh, the whole team that defeated the Justice League Society that killed Starman and all that stuff, that's where uh, Stargirl and her stepdad uh, is in that town. They're, they found a town that though that team basically is making an old-fashioned chocolate chip cookie and milk town, white picket fence town kind of thing. And so they're facing off against Icicle, and uh, they're going to pull back. They actually – forced them to pull back, and so there was a school bus traveling, and uh, it was a teammates of uh, Courtney, who, uh, that whoever that girl is, uh, I never saw her before, but, but she's doing a good job as Courtney. Uh, and uh, so he froze the, the bus on a bridge, and it kind of skidded, and uh, the stepdad, I forgot his name, but uh, Starman's old psychic with the, and the robot, he's in a giant robot. Uh, it was like a comic called Stripe. So he was able to pu- push back and he left to go be with Courtney. And uh, some of Courtney's friends actually came out of the bus. And so one of them was Joey, which is the magician, I forgot, the, the villain magician, the part of the team, son. And uh, the magician actually did not want to do anything bad. He just wanted to be a father and a husband and just be a normal. And so the kids just playing with some cards, waiting for where the icicle actually does a burst of cold air and blows a card out, and and, and he's, Joey goes for it, and he also freezes the road, and a car, boom, kills him. Interesting. So episode three, they dealt with death right away, and that was like a catch. So, what are Star Wars powers in? Well, she has the Cosmic Rod, which is a living rod that uh, has powers and only she could use them but how is she different from starman uh she's not really different but she did not have starman uh, in the series was uh, grew up rich and stuff like that and he adopted the cosmic rod and the Starman right now in the comic books is really different from Star Girl. It was just a powerless guy with a powerless person with the rod, and he's, the way she uses it, she has gymnastic background and everything, so she uses that with that to, uh, to get around. Because I always thought it was like a changing of the guard thing. I thought like it was. Know, just... I'm like this won't be because apparently she never knew her dad. She has a picture of him, and it actually is Starman. So, okay. she's, so they pretty much directly say, hey, <laughs> he's the <laughs> daughter of Starman. Well, the her stepdad, the psychic, denies it. But she's the only one that can use the rod. So that's that was a good change in the guard right there. And um, and they already introduced another wild cat. Uh, the girl is named Rolanda Menez. Uh, she's a girl that was popular, then she did something wrong where she sent a nudie picture to a boyfriend, but a mean girl going against her and president, as president stole that picture and put it all over it and basically like shamed her. I think my only complaint with Star Girl is I don't understand why they didn't do this when they were doing the whole crossover and uh, when I actually was into uh, Legends. Um, and they went back and did, you know, the old heroes and stuff like that. Why they didn't do it? Well, this is a, so again, this is a new, a different Earth. So the time, stuff can happen at different times. See, the, the, the Just Society was a uh, group from 10 years before the show. Yeah. So they've been killed. So this is a different Earth. Yes. They clarified it at the end of the crossover, at the end of the... Uh, right now, how many Earths do we have? Apparently, there's like five or six. Because Black Lightning is also in another Earth, right? No, he's on the same Earth. Since when? Uh, all, all the shows got put on one Earth. The, all the CWs at the time got put on one show, one Earth. Okay. Dang, I gotta go back and watch Crossover. Yeah. Uh, if you watch Crossover, yeah, there's it was really good. Uh, it was as good as the comic was, but with the limited what they decided they could do. Yeah. Stop interrupting the show, Dan. Stop trying to, trying to. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, and 
The Flash disappointed me this season. I mean, I'll be honest. The Flash has been disappointing me since yeah. Nora. Like, don't get me wrong. The actor, fire. The plot, that that whole season when they introduced Nora, it, it felt rushed and it felt unnecessary. You don't want to talk about rush. This whole season been rushed. And they didn't even get to finish it. What's your biggest problem with this season? <sighs> they're con- okay. They're gonna make Iris a hero because they're gonna get they're giving her powers and it's just they're making it too angsty. And the thing I liked about Flash was because he was able to he was a scientist and and he was able to do a lot of stuff on his own. But they're just making him like he has to rely on everybody else. Well, it, yes, that's one of my biggest problems with Flash. It's like just like on Green Arrow, I never got to see that side of Green Arrow. He actually I, had a team too in the comic book and stuff like well, that. Well, yeah, and he had Black Canary and stuff like that. Yes. Oh, oh. But and still, you know, I wanted to see that uh, kind of for the people Green Arrow, not this wannabe Batman type of Green Arrow. No disrespect, but I love Batman too. Um, <laughs> and then Flash, I we still like I thought for a second we got it, but he's like he doesn't use his the brain. Like, don't wrong. I love the actor. I love the season one, two, three. And then as we get after the Zoom saga, it's like he loses less and less of, like, he doesn't think about his problems. It's like, hey, let's go to this other guy. Wait, aren't you also a genius? Like, yeah, this was pretty good. Um, also, to mention about The Flash, uh, they fired the actor who played Elongated Man. Because of some tweets he made against like beating a woman about ten years ago, which proves the fact that they were quick to fire, and it doesn't get the chance the person to rectify themselves. Like, are you a are you the same person? Have you not have you grown? And so again, we can't teach can't see people more, uh, grow as people because of something they did 10 years ago. Not a second chance. So it's oh, fuck you, Flash, showrunners for firing him without doing that. You are bigots. I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, it's just like my biggest thing is like, number one, yes, it's like, you gotta give people a chance to learn. And then second, it's um, when you do that, it should be a longer decision to me. Yeah. It should be like you really think not and I'm not just talking about from a political thing, like at, yes, we know putting, you know, that treat, even though it was ten years ago, it was wrong, but at the end of the day, you know. When you're thinking about for the continuation of the story, if you're gonna write somebody off a, sh- a show, you should really think about the long term of the show. Yeah, there are uh, people are saying they should recast them instead of uh, just get random the character off. My whole thing is, and this is just me again. I don't even. I love him, but why is he even there? Because you know what again, like this is somebody that has more interaction with Batman. Than he does five. No, he he was a second tier. He was like yes, he was he booster was, gold. Yes, he was second tier, but he had you know, as you know, like he had roles in yeah. like the big big universal events or whatever. And it's like this is in the moments that we've seen of him, it's like we didn't see all of this. And it's like I felt like he him personally. He would have been better as a a where he comes in every now and then character. Yeah, he does. He does yeah. like, but he had a kind of big storyline where uh, he was after Sue Dead, who uh, became his wife in the comic books, and also then killed the well, was killed by the wife of that. Uh, and look up Identity Crisis on DC Comics. It's a great read. But uh, yeah, because um, uh, this reminds me of James Gunn firing. 
they fired him after something he said years ago. And then everybody on the uh, <laughs> freaking cast says, we will not do three unless you hire him again. Everybody backed him up. And, but uh, the start of Flash is all like, I agree with the showrunner. I'm like, you're a little bitch. So let me ask you, like, we kind of know where Marvel is going with, you know, their phase five and their phase six. At this point, where is DC going? Like, they okay. just, they just rehired, from my knowledge, Henry Cavill. Yes. Uh, the people still are not like, well, no, the they're, sold on Batman. No, uh, Robert Patterson, he's refusing to work out during this whole pandemic kind of thing. So he's refusing to stay in shape. He's a horrible actor in my case, especially action movies. Uh, he, he's a drama actor, just stick it to him. But there is rumor Ben Affleck may come back because they are doing the Snyder Cut of the Justice League for the HBO Max. So basically, yeah, they do have to refilm a lot of scenes. And apparently, Ben Affleck's in talks to come back for it. I mean, for people that don't know, what is the Steiner Cut? The Steiner Cut is what was supposed to be the Justice League movie before he was, before Zack and Snyder left and Josh Winden took over. Basically, where we're going to get Stark side as the villain. Um, and it was supposed to set up a whole trilogy. Martian Manhunter was going to be in there. Green Lantern was going to be in there. They actually had footage of the costumes of those two characters. Um, that's what I was like, fuck. And, uh, it was supposed to be like a three hour movie, but because of what, it, what happened with Zack Snyder and the Warner Brothers bringing in Josh Whedon, which is what was cause of pedophile. <laughs> it's funny. Um, we got what we got and it was like a half ass movie. Nobody, I mean, none of the cats liked the movie. They were like, this is not what we shot. I mean, honestly, if if the Snyder cut is as good as it's supposed to be, well, then that 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 will pretty much give me relief or some type of, especially if if DC says, "Hey, no, this is what we're going with," that will give me more a more sense of, of vision. Yeah. Um, if this is more successful, it will teach Warner Brothers that to do what should have been done and and uh, get out of director's ways now on this green lantern show that's coming to hbo max yes is that connected in any way to the movie verse or is that connected well to it CW? is because uh they uh, it depends on uh like at the end of the crossover uh the shows uh john's john diggle got a ring yeah so he was a green lantern at that i don't know if that's going to connect how it's going to connect because I heard it's not going to connect. Okay. But uh, I mean, he could come in and play it because in the crossover, the Flash from Earth 90, the 90s Flash, actually recognized him and asked him, uh, strange to see him without his power ring. So, I mean, they could give him like a do a multi universe where he, they're the same guy, look the same, just have no real connection besides his looks. And, uh, I heard there's going to be two lanterns. One's going to be Kyle Rayner and one's going to be uh, either John Stewart or Gar Guy Gar. Um, because they want to keep Hal Jordan free for movies and everything. Yeah. And because uh, in the in the core, no, Kyle Rayner is going to be the movie, one to show. Because the core movie is going to be three lanterns: Hal yeah. Jordan, Guy Gardner, and John Stewart. Now, maybe it's Justice League that ruined it for me. But you seem like a big fan of Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner's fun. He's just... Uh, he like, seems like always comedy relief to me. Well, he is. He's just, so why does why does Earth have so many Green Lanterns? Well, it's supposed to... Uh, Earth was a, uh, a center stone for this cosmic entity. And that's why so many rings went to it to... Resonate. I there was a storyline I haven't read in a long time, but that's I always read is that like Earth's like a center for something. 
And uh, that's why the power battery always has been sending more and more. It's supposed to be like some kind of protection or something. But uh, yeah, look it up if you can. But uh, that's why I read last. I'll have to look it up now. I'm curious. Uh, it's, it's OK. Next time, we're going to come back. And we're going to talk more about why is there so many Green Lanterns coming from Earth. We're going to talk more about some Green Lantern history. Yes. Because I, yeah. just to get, you know, educate people and, you know, get ready for the new Green, the Green Lantern show. Yes. But we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Yes. We talked about a lot. Obviously, you need to check out Young Justice. Check out Stargirl on CW. Oh, actually, DC Universe. Oh, DC Universe. DC, Never mind. Yeah, DC, oh, on CW on Monday, DC Universe on Sunday. Okay, cool. Um, Young Justice. Oh, Doom, oh, man. Doom Patrol Season 2 is released on, will release on June 25th, and it's on HBO Max. They also have Season 1. I definitely would say check it out, because I enjoyed the first season a lot. Now, since we are a comic book show, what comic books should be people reading as before we get out of here? Uh... Definitely check out Flash War. Yes. That's if you have not read, if you love a Flash, you love Barry, you love Wally, that whole saga of the Flash War is epic. Oh, uh, they just killed a major speedster on the Flash, so check that out. They're about to have uh, reveal uh, Reverse Flash's family. What number are they are on Flash now? I can't remember. I think 156. Okay, cool. So. Got a lot to catch up on. Yeah, Zoom's about to reveal his own Flash family. Like, yeah. Um, Marvel, what should they be checking out in Marvel? Uh, Marvel, uh, Spider Man, of course, X Men, and. Um, Please tell me there's no big events coming up right now. There is. It's uh, Fantastic. Well, the one just passed Fantastic Four versus X Men. Yeah, I was not a fan. Yeah, that actually revealed that uh, Franklin Richards is a mutant. He's classified as a mutant. The person that's way beyond too powerful. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> we're we're going to get out of here. Check out those uh, comics. Check out those shows. Yeah. But peace out. See ya.